Hey everybody, this is Jeff. How's everybody doing today? Hope everybody's having a great day. And I hope everybody's getting a little bit motivated. Today is one of those days since the sun's not out. It's been rainy all day and been overcast. It's one of those days where people can get into that nasty funk sometimes of, oh, what was me, what was me. I'm no different than everybody else. And even I myself get in those situations where inside you get angry, you get upset, you get sad, whatever. And it's just the best way to basically pull yourself out of a clump, stomp, or whatever it is you're going through and keep pushing forward no matter what it takes. These are days like today that if you're in a good mood, it's best to basically talk to people, say hi to people, you know, kind of rub some of your sunshine off on them a little bit, whether they think you're weird or not. It'll do a world of justice on uh, everything going on. Anyway... I just want you to know that no matter what you're going through, you just keep going the course. Keep being better today than who you were yesterday. Keep pushing yourself every single day. I understand that sometimes you can't always do it. Sometimes that just, you gotta reach down deep inside and do it, you know? It's kinda like that last 100 yards of a foot race, you know? You can't go backwards. You just gotta finish the race. And by any of finishing the race, if you stop, you're not gonna finish, But Eventually, you're going to have to crawl across the finish line anyway, so just finish it now. Find that little extra energy. Push yourself to the finish line. Do good today. Be better today. Be kind to people. You know, let people know how you feel about them and everything else. I'm like, I'm just like a lot of other vets out there, you know. I get angry on the inside every once in a while, but I have to understand that we cannot take it out on each other. We have to put those demons inside of us to rest somehow by... Basically bring it down a couple notches and just knowing that look things out there are good I know a lot of my military brothers and sisters out there. They get sad inside. They get upset inside They start yelling. They start screaming. They they start doing everything in their power To let air out of the big balloon and this is how I kind of explained it yesterday to my daughter and To a couple of my friends and everything they were asking me about how does PTSD work? Well, I can't give you all the answers on that because I'm not an expert, but I can tell you this. Think of a balloon, okay? This balloon is a perfectly good balloon. And this is what goes on. Inside that balloon, you have the perfect levels. But what happens is, inside of each one of us, we get angry. We don't know why. We just get angry. We get depressed. We get sad. We get hurt. And it doesn't even have to be military. It could be a regular person. So what happens is the balloon starts expanding beyond its boundaries. Okay, it does no longer fit in its square. So what we try to do is let air out of the balloon. Now, why do we let air out of the balloon? It's better to be kind. It's better to argue. It's better to create conflict than to let the balloon keep going up. So in other words, anybody that comes around us, we are letting that air out. We don't mean any harm by it. But what happens is if we keep letting that anger inside of us, it blows up. And when it blows up is when bad things happen. That's when abuse happens. That's when neglect happens. That's when suicides happen. That's when we actually can no longer take anymore. And that's when people do really bad things for a really bad reason. So think of it as a balloon. So as people are yelling or screaming, they go on long runs or they're, they're venting. It's, it's decreasing that balloon back to its regular size. If the balloon bursts, it's over. If you let the air out, it keeps going. Now, some people let the air out too much, and all of a sudden, they just kind of get very, very low to where they no longer have a feeling inside anymore. You got to keep the feelings inside. You just have to keep them positive. Because the second you get angry on the inside, it keeps blowing up. It's blowing up. It's blowing up. So some of us have to let that air out, whether it's yelling or screaming or running or jogging or working out or going to the gym or basically working harder or doing doing something, getting on speech, motivating people. We're doing something to let that steam out. And as we let that steam out, our levels come back to normal. Now, I know the doctors and everybody else, and I am not a doctor, they want to keep giving us medication. Well, that medication makes us depressed and we don't have anywhere to take that air out anymore, you know? The best thing to do is be kind to each other. The best thing to do is when your friends are out there and you start seeing them drinking, they're drinking, but their drinking is causing that bubble to get bigger, not smaller. You've got to, to do something not to let them drink and maybe do something else. Don't let them do drugs. Let them do something else. The reason why is because that's what's causing the problem. You cannot have one problem because that problem is going to cause another problem. 
What you can do is you gotta find a way to let that hot air out of the balloon. Now, why do I say it like this? Because everybody I get around, I work with enough groups, with enough vets, with enough people that have different problems that I can tell you this. Yelling is better than hitting, okay? You don't want anybody to yell at you though or neglect you, but it's better than them hitting. It's better than them causing damage to themselves. It's better than cutting. It's better than... So, you know, a lot of times when people go to the firing range, they're blowing off steam because that loud noise like brings their levels back to normal. When they go for a run, it brings that, but you know, not everybody wants to go run. They're like, ah, I don't want to go run. So what do they do? Is then they start getting, so they got to find something. I know people and I've ever taught people, learn to cook. What do you mean? Learn to cook. Why? Learn to bake. Because when you do the dough and you're making that dough and everything else, you're basically pounding out that dough. You're basically beating that dough. How many of you ever seen my videos where I'm actually making bread with my daughter and I teach just pound it. Just hit the dough, hit the dough, yell at the dough. And everybody's like, what the heck are you? We're taking out stress. We're taking out anger. We're taking out frustration. Some people might have a punching bag at their house. And I'm not talking about your significant other. They're not a punching bag. Knock it off. I know some of y'all had that joke on there too. I know some of y'all said that. I'm talking about you know, something to go outside and, you know, maybe sit there and hit a piece of wood or something. But the whole idea is go to a shooting range and blow off some steam or go outside and go for a run, go for a bike ride, leave your cell phones at home. Me, I just went and got my hair cut and I sat in there and I got my hair cut and everything else and I left my phone alone, okay? Some people, I tell them, go over to the veterans home, sit down, watch the animals, okay? Turn your dang phone off and quit talking to people and go and listen to the animals just to bring your levels down. There are some people I say, you need to get out of the house, go for a drive, make sure everybody's safe, but go for a drive. What you gotta do though is if you get to the wrong point in life, okay, here's the problem. You're gonna make stupid mistakes, okay? You're going to leave your kids in the wrong areas. You're going to do, you know, if you're beyond the point of return, then everybody's in, in dire need. Everybody's in jeopardy because of you. When a ship is sinking, you don't sit there and handcuff yourself to the bow of the ship and say, this is going to save the ship. It's not. You're going to go down with the ship and people are going to go down because they're going to try to save you. What you've got to do is you got to be better. Think of everybody as a, as a balloon. Everybody's body is a balloon. It's a perfect size balloon. But when they start getting depressed, when they start having anger, and they, you don't have to have a reason to be angry inside. Believe it or not, everybody's like, they don't know the reason. I don't know why I'm angry. You, we just get angry. And that balloon is starting to fill up. You've got to find your way to release that steam. You've got to find that happy medium, which means you've got to immediately take yourself out of the situation you're in and put yourself in a better situation. There's so many people out there that their their balloons are filling up that they do stupid things because they're not listening to what their body's telling them. So they get depressed. They get they get depressed. They get angry. They do stupid things not unintentionally because they don't know they've got to stop what they're doing and go do something different for a minute. It's like anything else. Go run. Go lift weights. Okay. Go get and start make bread and make beat out that dough as hard as you can. But when you start yelling at people, when you start getting violent with people, when you start having bad thoughts in your mind is when you need to stop what it is you're doing and just immediately get out of the house and go out and be better for somebody. Sometimes you need to go out and fake being kind in order to let kindness out. You got to go be good to people. You cannot get into politics. You cannot get into religion. I know everybody says it, but you know what? People will start debating it and it'll put you in a very bad mood, which you've got to do is go somewhere where you're by yourself. You've got to do things that are going to relieve that stress so your balloon does not pop. And there's a reason why there's 22 veterans every day that kill themselves. There's a reason why there's people with depression in the world, okay? You know, there's reasons why you need to figure out who you are, how your body works, in order to relieve that stress. I'm just like everybody else. I get angry on the inside. I get depressed. I get, you know, I get hurtful. I get sad. But you gotta take yourself out of the situation you're in and you gotta go relieve it somehow. If that means go yelling into a pillow, I think my mom and dad always said, go yell into a pillow when I was little. And I did, and it worked. You know why? Because I was taking all my energy and focusing it in an area that was not hurting anybody, nor was I hurting myself. That's what you have to do. There's a lot of people out there. I believe in gun ranges. That's the reason why I like that loud noise, that big bang. 
and you shoot those guns, it lets that air out but go to a range. You don't put it around anybody else. When you go to a church and you start singing, you're letting that hot air out. If you're out in the woods and listening to the animals or whatnot, then that's gonna be good. If you go out and blow a duck call or a goose call, yes, you probably never heard anybody say that one before, but guess what? It's letting out that pressure. When you're on a bicycle and you're riding your bike and all of a sudden you get madder and madder and you're riding faster and faster, you're not hurting anybody. You're getting exercise and that's great. What about when you're running and you just keep running? You gotta run so far that at your point where you're gonna run to, you gotta run past that. That way you have to run back and by the time you get back home, you're so dead tired, but you feel good inside. When you're making bread and you're beating that dough, you beat it down so much that the bread rises so high that you beat it back down, it rises again because you need to beat dough. Why do I say all this? You know when people sing in their cars and they're listening to their music, if you're listening to music that's making you angry or sad, you need to turn that music off. You literally need to turn it off. You do not want to speed in your vehicle. You don't want to do anything that's going to be putting anybody else harm's way. What you want to do is you want to do the things that are going to let that hot air out of your balloon. It's going to let you relax. And it's going to let you get back to normal levels. I'm sorry, but science and medication does not always do it. Now, if you have problems, then yes. But if you're just one of these people that just finds yourself sad on the inside, upset on the inside, angry on the inside, then do something that's away from everybody that's gonna make their life better. I always have to give teachers a lot of credit because you know they don't always have that opportunity, but I'm sure the kids are making them crazy every once in a while. But you know, sometimes you'll see teachers when they go in the teacher's lounge, you know. I remember those stress balls you used to squeeze, those were good things, okay? You know, sometimes you got to go take a walk. You just have to get away for a minute, whatever the situation is, at least for five minutes. Just relax and then come back, okay? I do not believe in safe spots. I do not believe in safe areas. I do not believe in all that. If you want that, you got your house for that. But what you got to do is sometimes just shut your eyes right where you're at, breathe, breathe in your nose, out your mouth, be tranquil, whatever it is it is, and then slowly become back to normal levels inside of your body. A science part of it is you're overstressed, you're overreacting, you're overfeeling, you're over, and if you burp, the balloon burst, you're gonna put people in harm's way. If you just let some of that steam out, that's great, but when you let the steam out, you cannot yell at people. You cannot be mean to people. You cannot be rude to people. I know veterans can do it to each other because we're used to it and we make fun of each other, but we promote each other behind their backs. But when we do it to each other, you know, it's our way of stressing out, but we're allowed to do that. Why are we allowed to do that? Because we know what we're doing. We're not trying to hurt each other. We're not trying because we love each other. But you cannot be mean to your wives. You cannot be mean to your spouses. You cannot be mean to your children. You have to walk away for a second or you have to do something that's gonna be instrumental and you both being able to come to, you know, maybe your kids are saying, yeah, we're gonna go cook now. All of a sudden you're making bread out of nowhere. I believe in making bread. Not because I, I'm good at making bread, but because it's a stress relief, okay? I'm good at making lasagnas and stuff like that and cookies, okay, why? Because maybe you need to stop what it is you're doing and go out and mow the lawn. Stop what it is you're doing and go work. There's a reason why I have a garden. I love my garden because I can go out there and I can de-stress. And maybe you got to just plant, plant a couple plants inside of a pot inside your house. It might work. Whatever. Just do something. Do something to become a better person. I believe in each and every one of you. I believe you have what it takes. Don't let your anger go off on people that are unaware that the anger is building up. I sometimes let anger build up and I have to do something else also. I'm the first one to say it. When I was a kid and everything else, you know, I had a fear of being around people. So a lot of people, the reason why I hurt them was not because I physically hurt them or anything else. It's because I had a fear of loss and I would be their friend and I'm still their friend to this day, but I wasn't in a clique or a group and I would just slowly fade into oblivion and next thing you know they're looking for me or all of a sudden they're like ah but it would be months later and all of a sudden they're like where's Jeff and they get mad at me for that but no one ever say I've ever hurt them I never physically did anything bad to them but they did get mad at me because I never wanted to get close to anybody that was a very big weakness of mine when I was a kid and that was for fear when I lost my mom. I'm not afraid to admit that to people. I'm not afraid to admit that I have a lot of weaknesses. But the problem is somebody tries to use my weaknesses against me anymore, they no longer can. Because I've already used them against myself, which means good luck trying, because I don't care. <laughs> Each and every one of you matters. Each and every one of you makes a difference. Be better today than who you were yesterday. Make yourself, fix yourself. It's gonna take you to fix yourself. 
I'm Jeffrey Jansen. I hope and pray each and every one of you have a great day, and I'll talk to everybody soon. Bye now.